always just had this like emptiness in me. And it's like God was moving in me in really <laughs> awesome cool ways, but there was always just this part of me that was like held back by something. And last night, just like that was released, Amen. and it um, it came out like crazy. And I'm just on the ground, and God's just like doing stuff. And it, was it Sophia who was praying over me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Sophia. Sophia. Yeah. And Sophia starts singing over him prophetically. She starts wow. singing like, and she, at first she was standing back because I mean he was there was some really deep stuff coming out. <laughs> At one point, I, at one point, I think he scared all of us. <laughs> you know, you know, oh! I scared myself at some point. <laughs> and, uh, and and so Sophia, and how old is Sophia? Eight. 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 Eight year old Sophia. She's standing back there, and, and I can tell that she wants to she wants to come pray for, but she doesn't know if it's safe or not. Yeah. And so she's got her hands out. Like this, and, and she's just kind of inching forward. She's kind of inching forward, and she looks. And Sarah looks up at her and goes, "It's okay." And she comes over and starts praying. And she sat there for probably a half hour or longer, just stroking the back of his head, just stroking back his head, and singing and singing over him prophetically. Like, and this is a little girl. Now you said you couldn't get her to pray. Right. Couldn't get her to pray. Like out loud or four people and here she is she's in the middle of a situation that a lot of you guys wouldn't feel comfortable in yeah. and she's there stroking the back I'm going to stop stroking your head <laughs> <laughs> and stroking the back of his head and singing over this amazing song and the things tell, tell me the thing she said um, to be quite honest I only remember the last song she sang everything else kind of is a blur at this point <laughs> in the moment it was amazing but like what really stuck with me was the last thing she sang which was like um uh, you're something like you're my home and I've locked the doors and like for me that had huge like meaning because like one of the things God's been like speaking to me lately it's not just as it's not just your home but you are home you're my home and so she doesn't know this and she's singing you're my home and I've locked the door there's nothing that can get inside of you there's nothing that can come in and take away your joy it was just like and like that was a huge thing was just like the enemy was coming after me, and it was like God was just stamping down on me. He's like, No, the door is locked, they're not Thank getting in, they're not gonna affect you. Yeah. 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 It's just like, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Just, just now, we were standing here, and Josh looked over and he says, Hey, you know what's you know what's missing? I said, What? He said, That emptiness inside. Oh. That emptiness is missing, it's gone. That's what Jesus paid for it.